Fire Emblem fans, long have you waited. It's finally time to play some good old Fire Emblem ROM hack on this channel again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. My name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys to the first part of Let's Play Fire Emblem Legends of Avenir. This is a ROM hack that I've been checking out for quite some time, and one that I've been very curious to play. I first uh, saw it when Aether played it on his channel, and it looked really fun. It has a fully customizable avatar, kind of similar to Order of the Crimson Arm, but there's way more things you can choose. You can actually select your own growth rates and, and whatnot. And I know I'm normally not a big fan of avatars, but I still think it's a pretty cool concept to have one in a GBA game, especially a playable one. So yeah, that is exactly what we're going to be doing here. Um, let us begin. So uh, I have heard that this hack used to be pretty easy. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I, I think the difficulty has been amped up a little bit in late, later patches. But we're gonna be going difficult. I think I can handle it. Famous last words. I think I said the same thing when I played Eligor Spear. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's enter the prologue and let's begin creating our customizable, playable avatar. This is incredibly cool. Well, well, well. What do we have here in my realm? A lost soul looking for another chance at life, eh? Who are you? A silly question to ask, given that you won't remember, but I'll indulge you. I am the Guardian Spirit, Overseer of Avenir, and Guide of Lost Souls. That is all. Nothing more. For now, what is your name? This is cool. It reminds me of the introduction to Tree Houses, actually. Alright, I, I guess I am Manx. Really loving the music and the colors. Cool minimap, too. An interesting choice. Now that that's taken care of, it's time to, to decide exactly what you want to be when you enter the realm of Avenir. Do you wish to be a strong mercenary of Hadric, yearning for wealth, a soldier in the empire of Caesarea's military, or a fledgling mage in the wise country of the Arcane? Be certain in your choice. So, uh, yeah. Here we go, it's time to select our character. So, um, if we select random, I think we get a, 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 like, we get a random portrait. So you can just randomize your avatar. I think there are two portraits for the male ones and two portraits for the female ones. So, uh, we'll start with form. So, uh, we're obviously gonna select male. And as for the route, I do believe these are, like, route splits. Uh, I, I, and I, I do believe there might be a third route at some point. Uh, so we can either be a mercenary or a military, uh, or a military man, I guess. Become a wandering mercenary in the neutral warrior state of Hadric. Play as a mercenary, Myrmidon, fighter, pirate, brigand, or pegasus knight. Become a cadet in the Caesarian army, about to join the fight against the New York Cane. Play as a cavalier, knight, soldier, vivern rider, or archer. Hmm. Hmm. Mercenary or military? When I watched uh, Aether's Let's Play, I do believe he went with mercenary, so I'm actually going to pick military. And now we have to select our class, so we can select between Cavalier, Knights, Soldier, Vivan Rider, and Archer. Oh boy, this is a tough choice, actually. I, I don't know what I want to pick. Ha! Ah, so here you can see our bases and our growth rates. If we select Armor Knight, we start with 12 base defense, which is pretty cool. I don't know, I feel like Cavalier is a pretty solid choice. Soldier's pretty cool, too. Vivan Rider is probably the best one. Oh, man, this is... I'm having choice paralysis here. I have no idea what to pick. Ah! Uh, you know what? Let's go with Archer. <laughs> no, I don't think anyone ever picks Archer. Let's go with it. <laughs> Oh boy, alright, uh, let's see, and I guess we, uh, we should select a boon as well. Are we just gonna meme? Are we just gonna meme? Luck boon, skill bane, is that what we're gonna go with? <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna be so bad! <laughs> let's go. <laughs> it's time, let us prepare you for the realm of Avenir. Oh god, is it time for a minimap exposition dump? I love these. The continent of Avenir. Four main countries dot the main landmass of the continent. The Empire of Caesarea. The country... Oh god, <laughs> I skipped that one. I think it was Arcane. The warrior country of Hadric. 
and the avian realm of Altia. Okay, so you got the warrior country, the mercenary country, the snow country, and the mage country. Okay. As a member of the military, you will begin your journey in Caesarea, or C C yeah, it's Caesarea. They boast the largest military on the continents, led by their captains and general. Every Caesarean is fiercely loyal to their emperor. Ah, glory to the empire. I wish you luck, Mangs. Make your mark on Avenir. I will be watching. All right, let's go. One, training day. It's time for a tutorial, boys and girls. Really enjoying the style of this hack so far. It has great aesthetics, the music's, the, every, like the graphics are great. Portraits are cool too. Mangs, wake up. Huh? There is something, I don't know about you guys, but there's just something missing here. I, I feel like I have too much hair. Let me, let me fix that real quick. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> huh? Did you forget so quickly? It's the big day today. Big day? Our test day. This could be the last day of us being cadets. Oh, you're right. I don't know how I forgot. Captain Sylvain is administering the tests. We'll want to do our best. She definitely has high expectations. Of any graduating cadets. Captain Sylvain? What about Captain Maximus? He's normally the one to grade these. I think Captain Maximus is in the field facing down our canae right now. I'd rather be here than there. That's our future, Jasper, whether we like it or not. There's so much to war than just battles. We still don't know where Heydrich or even Altia stands on this conflict. Come on now, guys. Now's not the time to be bickering away. We have to pass this test first. Besides, no captain would just allow a few recently graduated cadets to make their own choice about the role they'll play in the war. Right, thanks, Derek. We'll have to work as a team. I'm sorry, Jasper. Eh, don't worry about it. We're teammates. And more importantly, friends. Let's go ace this test. Okay, so it's time for a time for a tutorial. God, I'm an archer. This is gonna be so bad. Cadets, there you are, right on time. Captain Sylvain. Uh, Cadet Mengs reporting in. Mengs, is it? It's that Castlevania music. That's Castlevania music. And I have the lens flare of a freaking century behind me here. What the hell? What is... Oh god, the sun is hitting my poster at an awkward angle. Let me fix that real quick. Alright, there we go. That's a little bit better. Yes, ma'am. I'm Cadet Jasper. This here is Cadet Derek. I see. Do you all know the tests you face today? Uh, actually, no, ma'am. Our instructor told us each captain liked to do a different test, and it would depend on who administered it. Ha! He knows his stuff, then. Today, you'll be facing off against some of my soldiers. From the Leopard Brigade, your objective is to defeat all of them without any of yourselves falling. All of them? You will hold back, but only slightly. I expect any graduating cadet to have equal and skilled of even a seasoned Caesarian soldier. Your main opponents will be Sergeant Christina and Forrests, two of my battalion commanders. Battalion commanders? Yes, we command. We captains command our brigades uh, as a whole, but we also have a small battalion under our command of sergeants. When the team of cadets graduates, the one that shows the strongest leadership is ordered the rank of corporal. These corporals often rise to become sergeants, and thus, battalion commanders within our ranks. Understood. Christina? Forests? Aye, Captain. What is it? I'll expect you to analyze all three of these cadets. While fighting, I will consult with you afterwards, to which you believe is most suited to receive the promotion to corporal. I think it's gonna be me. Understood. You can count on me. Good luck, cadets. I will be observing to make sure the test day is fair and to make my decision. Thank you, Captain. Uh, so far, it's a pretty standard intro. Don't worry, Mangs. We got this. I should have eaten a smaller breakfast. Derek, just focus on the battle. Focus on the task at hand, okay? Right, sorry, Jasper. We'll want to play it safe. We have all the vulnerabilities. Let's stick together. You heard the Captain. None of us can be defeated. Right, let's do this. I wonder if your starting team is different depending on your avatar. Like, if I picked an Armor Knight, would I still be getting an Armor Knight? Would I have two Armor Knights? Okay, so this seems like a fairly simple first map. So here she is, Sylvain, the calm and skilled, caring captain of the Caesarian Leopard Brigade. Okay, I hope I get her as a playable- oh god, there's a lot of skills in this game. Hope I get her as a playable character. Okay, let's see how bad is my avatar! <laughs> 
can't believe I picked an archer. Mm. An archer with a skill bane. I have a 30% skill growth, ladies and gentlemen. But I have a 55% luck growth, so there's that. So I'm very lucky, I guess. <laughs> 40% strength? Oh god, I'm gonna be so bad. <laughs> I'm Manx. Certain blow, 15 hit when initiating battle. Okay. I guess that's okay. That'll make up for my skill bane, if anything. Can I use a steel bane? I can use a steel bow without losing uh, speed, so that's good, I guess. Let's check out my friends. An honest and pure Caesarian recruit. Can be a bit lazy, but is very loyal. Okay, growth rates seem to be very low in this hack. I kind of like that. Full metal body, this unit is immune to all seal skills, he can shove, and he has natural cover. So, uh, yeah, no, growth rates are actually very low in this hack, look at that. 25 speed. Uh, what was his defense growth? 45, that's pretty good. Hit points seem to be high, but all the other growth rates seem to be- He has 2 base speed, what the hell. Oh my god, he has 2 base speed. Then we got Jasper, a recent Caesarian recruit with a distrust for Arcanians. Wishes for a peaceful end to the war. Okay. I see that is discipline, so he can train his weapon ranks faster. Classic Cavalier growth rates. A little low on the strength, 35%. A little bit low. Okay. Alright, let's uh, let's get to it. Should we change the window color? Let's let's have a green window color. So here we got Christian. I see there are no leadership stars in this hack. And we have a fighter right here. I, again, I'm not entirely sure how difficult this is going to be, but I say we start off by shooting at this guy. So yeah, sadly, I don't think there's a bold archer animation in this game. Otherwise, I would have imported that for myself. So I guess just ignore the hair if it takes you out of the if it takes you out of the gameplay. I'm sorry about that. All right, what if we chug a javelin at this guy? That should be enough to get the kill. I probably should have fed the kill to my avatar. God knows, he'll need all the help he can get. <laughs> I can't believe I picked the goddamn archer. He's gonna be so trash. <laughs> An archer with a skill bang. Oh. I don't know, I don't like it when avatars solo the game though. So I'm actually okay with this. Oh shit, I didn't even see that guy. Alright, okay. So let's try and feed some kills to Manx, shall we? I don't double here. But uh, 16 plus... I get doubled, actually. 16 plus 11, that's not gonna be a kill, so I'll need to chug a javelin. So I think I know my best chances of success here would probably be if I move... If I move Derek like this, and I trade a sword over, and then I chug a steel lance into this guy's face, and then Manx can get the kill. I will say, though, it's quite refreshing to see low growth rates. Uh, that's not something you see a lot in hacks these days. Um, they actually seem to be, like, almost FE6 level. Maybe a little bit... I don't know, they seem to be roughly around, like, FE6 level. Like, growth rates are in the 30s to 40%. Very rarely do they go up in the 50s. Even the Avatar has very modest growth rates. Like, he doesn't... Aside from HP, which is very high, but that's also the case in FE6. Almost no growth rates ever go past 40%, which is honestly very refreshing. It shows a lot of restraint on the developer. I have no idea how long this hack is, by the way. Uh, but as always, I forgot to say this, but I'll throw a link in the video description if you want to go and check it out for yourself. But yeah, I have no idea how long this is. I'm fairly certain it's... Oh, goddammit. I'm fairly certain it's finished. Ooh, I love the glowy HP bars. They look really nice. Wonder if that's a patch. Ready yourselves, cadets. Here I come. Okay, so now their bosses are gonna start to move. That's okay. I don't mind that. All right, so 15 damage plus uh, 14 damage. That should be a kill. That's just, so I can just sit here and let them all come to me. I guess that's okay. Again, really loving these glowy HP bars. They look really nice, actually. All right, let's feed another kill to my avatar. Boosh. Uh, experience gains also seems to be slower than vanilla FV8, actually. Which is another thing that's kind of... That, that leads me to believe that the... 
I mean, how quickly you gain experience will usually tell you how long a hack is. I haven't seen how many chapters this hack has, so I have no idea, but I, I'm, I'm fairly certain. I saw that Aether finished a Let's Play of it, so I'm, I'm fairly certain it is finished, but don't quote me on this. I try not to look too much into hacks when I play them. I kind of want to, like, be unspoiled. I want to go into them with a fresh mind. So, uh, I'm just gonna, do I have any, like, buff skills on my teams? I don't think so. No, I do not. I do not have any. So, the fact that he has full metal body leads me to believe that there's gonna be, like, debuff skills in this game. It, this definitely seems to, to utilize the full skills patch, which means that units will probably gain skills as they level up. And they're probably gonna end up with, like, a, like an inventory full of skills. I will say, I am, generally speaking, more of a fan of the low skill hacks, where there's just, like, one skill per character. Great work so far, cadets. Can you defeat me, I wonder? Really cool boss music. And no, it's not Naruto music. So yeah, Derek, he seems to be an armor knight that gets doubled a lot, but that does not mean he necessarily sucks. So what if I attack again? Yeah, if I attack again, that should be another kill for Manx. I love this music. Chat will probably tell me where it's from. That's like 80% of all the comments on my hacks, honestly. Just music lists. <laughs> this music is from there, and this music is from there. Alright, Derek leveled up. Hit points, skill, speed. Oh, he got, he got speed! Nice! He has a 25% speed growth. Sweet. Alright, let's go. I love how even with, with like, certain blow skill, <laughs> I don't have 100%. Impressive. I look forward to seeing Sylvain's assessment. Oh, I wonder who they're gonna pick to be the leader. Could it possibly be the Avatar character? Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, here we go. Hit point skill rest. This is gonna be a rough one, guys. This is good. I'm gonna be a horrible avatar. It's gonna be a sucky avatar. Just calling it right now. Manx is gonna be the worst unit on my team. Okay, what does this guy have? Iron Lance. Okay, so there's no horse layers and shit like that on the first chapter. That's uh, that's reassuring. Difficulty seems to be fair. I mean, it is the first map. Like this is not like Souls of the Forest style difficulty. That that much I can tell. It's not like you die the moment you make a single bad move, but honestly, I am okay with this. I, I'm not a big fan of those, like, brutally hard Fire Emblem hacks that punishes you immediately. Like, I understand for some people that might be fun, but for me, it, it, it takes away the fun a lot. Like, extreme difficulty certainly is my, my way to play Fire Emblem. I do not like hacks that just kills you the moment you do something wrong. I, I think that's just... it loses its shine for me really quickly. Alright, so I'm gonna pick up my Archer here. The boss is... oh, hi. So what do we have here? We Okay, so you're gonna start moving now? You're lucky, cadets. The enemies won't let you know when they choose to strike. Uh, yeah, but I can see your AI buddy, so... I know when you're gonna strike. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So what does this guy have? Slim Sword? Well... <laughs> looks like a job for Armor Knight. Blink! Okay. Easy PC. Okay, and here comes the Cavalier. So I gotta be careful here. Pretty sure my Armor Knight will be able to withstand this guy, considering he has a sword. I'm just gonna let... I'm gonna let Mangs deal with this guy. Again, just gonna feed a lot of kills to my Archer Lord. God knows he'll need the experience. Uh, what level do I start out of, by the way? Is it one? No, I start out at level five, actually. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, will I die here? No. So I don't even need to pop a Vulnerary here. You know what I'm gonna do, though? I'm actually gonna do this. I want I want the Armor Knight to absorb the first blow here, because he hits back way harder. You're doing pretty well out there, cadets. Let's see how you fare against me. Ah, that's about uh, how well we fare against you, forests. Man, I love these glowy HP bars. I know I say it a lot, but uh, they're really pretty. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's give another kill. I get this is how we're gonna do things, I think. Uh, just feed kills to our Archer Lord and hope that he won't turn out completely trash. When you try to sing along with the music, but you don't know the music, that's kind of how I feel right now. Okay, I didn't get another point of speed, sadly. Alright, let's go, Archer Lord! Get your kill! Nice! Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, come on. Don't give me skill and rest again, please. 
Hit points, strength, speed, luck? Would you look at that? You have a goddamn luck bane, or a luck baboon. I should, oh wait, what? Huh? Oh, <laughs> there's a soldier here. Oh, I didn't even see this. <laughs> I was like, what, am I not done? Uh, all right, how much damage does this guy do? 19, okay, I might need a, I might need a vulnerary. Maybe, nope, I'll be fine actually. I can't believe there was a goddamn soldier. <laughs> Even see him. Oh, that's funny. It's about that one. It's like that one time I forgot about Noish in my Fire Emblem 4 Let's Play. I just like, where's Noish? And he's like on the other side of the map. All right, another kill for Avatar, I guess. Would you look at that? I don't think this is gonna be a level, though. I'd be very surprised. Ba 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 ba. Phew, that was a rough one. You're telling me. I suppose this is the strength of the Caesarian soldiers. Cadets, very well done. I agree, forests? Definitely one of the most impressive groups I've ever seen. I'm inclined to agree with you two. Jasper, Derek, and Manx. All three of you are soldiers I would be more than happy to have in my brigade. And I'm sure the other captains would agree with me. You work remarkably well as a team, and all three of you are very skilled in combat. Thank you, Captain. However, only one of you can be named Corporal. I think I know your choice, and I agree wholeheartedly. Oh boy, who are they gonna pick? Whoever, whatever you think is best, Captain. I've never been one to question you. Thanks to you two, Mengs, you demonstrated excellent leadership today. You are first choice for becoming Corporal and a Squadron Commander. What? <laughs> Mengs, congrats. Yeah, I'm not even remotely surprised. Haha. <laughs> Do I have to accept? Of course not. You may be a soldier now, but you're also human. It's your choice. <gasps> what? I can... What? I can actually... S oh, what? Hmm. This seems like a choice that matters. Oh, boy. You know what? I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. Alright, comment section comment section comment below should I accept the promotion or should I decline the promotion find out in the next episode of Legends of Avenir this was a very fun hack I'm really looking forward to playing this one this is gonna be a lot of fun all right ladies and gentlemen I'll see you guys next time bye bye <laughs>